Hey everyone, Vian from Mountain Road here. At Mountain Road, we believe in living a healthy, balanced, sustainable lifestyle. And part of that is just getting a good night of sleep. And today's video is all about teaching you how you can use the Siri Shortcuts app on your Apple iPhone or Apple iPad device to set up that ultimate pre-bedtime routine that's going to help you get a great night of sleep and also wake up refreshed and ready to take on the day. Ready? Let's get started. As some of you might know, Siri Shortcuts is a new app that got added to the iOS in the recent update of iOS 12. Now I say it's a new app because technically it's been around in the form of workflow prior to Apple acquiring the company and then also pulling it into its ecosystem. So it's been around in some form already but it wasn't really until it got added to the recent iOS update that uh, I took note of it. If you don't already own the app, I would suggest pause right here, head over to the App Store and go download it quickly so we can get going on the steps on how you can use the Siri Shortcuts app. Got it? Alright, good. Let's keep on going. To break it down to its most basic terms, what the Siri Shortcut app allows you to do is to automate those routine workflows that you might follow on a regular basis. So let's say you have a particular sequence of steps that you like to take each day. Chances are you can string those steps together and automate it using the Siri Shortcuts app. So what I want to do today is to use this video to demonstrate to you how you can use the Siri Shortcuts app to build that ultimate pre-bedtime routine. It's going to help you get a restful and uninterrupted night of sleep. Now, Kristen will be quick to tell you about all the harmful effects that too much technology exposure prior to bedtime can have on your sleep patterns. And although true, that's not the focus of today's video. What we rather want to focus on is uh, setting up your device so that once you finally decide to put it down and go to bed, that you aren't distracted in any way. So it's all about just making sure that the device is properly silenced and free of disturbances that will wake you up in the middle of the night. Enter Siri Shortcuts. Let's walk through my pre-bedtime routine to show you how you can set up a similar routine on your device. Now, normally, the first thing I like to do is to dim my screen brightness all the way down, and then I turn my volume all the way down, and then I switch on the do not disturb, and lastly, I would then also set my alarm clock for the next morning. Now, can you see the sequence of repeatable steps there? And that's exactly what we like to automate with this shortcut. So, we're going to go over, well, let's just turn up the brightness yet again, back onto its normal levels. We're going to start this one from scratch. So let's start by opening up the Siri shortcuts. You're going to scroll the way down, unless you have any um, shortcuts already listed. Then we're going to create a new shortcut by clicking on that box, and we're going to build this one from the start. All right, so let's start with step number one. So if you remember my sequence that I just did, the first step was basically to dim the screen brightness. Let's go through how we can do that by use of a Siri shortcut. Now first, to tell the shortcut that you want to lower the screen brightness, you'll have to locate that scripting command to change that brightness setting. All right, so in this search box, we are going to type and search for set brightness. All right, you'll see that pop up. And so we are going to tap on that. Now, first of all, if you want to just to back up quickly, if you want to see what a particular setting does, if I go back to that set brightness setting, you can also tap on that eye at the side of the description, and that will tell you what that particular feature can do. And so we are going to back out of that. This one, obviously, we know will be allow us to adjust the screen brightness. Now what we want to do each time this particular shortcut is run, if you get in bed, you want that screen brightness to be dim. So just by use of the slider, pulling it all the way down allows us to set the brightness down to the minimum. Okay, so let's just pause there for a second. Why, if this whole series shortcut is about setting that up 
so that you can get better sleep, why would a lower screen brightness actually help? I mean, you're not going to be looking at your phone in the middle of the night. Well, that's exactly what I do sometimes. <laughs> if you are in that habit of maybe waking up in the middle of the night or perhaps when you just struggle to fall asleep altogether, if you're like me, you're going to pick up your phone, you're going to look at the screen to tell you what the time is, and that just flash of bright light into your eyes is just going to ultimately wake you up even more, and that's just going to leave you to struggle to fall asleep again. Um, so that's step one to getting a great night's sleep. Now, on to the second step in that sequence. Now, if you remember again, the second step was all about bringing down the volume of your phone. Um, now, this kind of speaks for itself. I don't have to explain to you why having no noise in the middle of the night, blocking out all those buzzing notifications um, will ultimately help you have better night of sleep. Now, personally for me, I have family that live on the other side of the world and um, just them sending text messages at their regular hours, our sleeping hours, um, I just need that setting to be on whenever I get in bed. And so the way we're going to do this is by again using our search box and this time we are going to search for set volume. All right again if you want to you can just take a quick look at what that setting can do by hitting the eye. We're going to add this to our search shortcut. This time we're going to again use the slider, pull it all the way down and lower that volume all the way down. All right, now on to the third and final step for this particular shortcut. Um, we are now going to use the do not disturb function. Now this switch comes in super handy when you just want to block out all those vibrations, especially coming from incoming calls throughout the night. Um, I personally own a Garmin device, um, Garmin watch, and that thing just buzzes like crazy whenever a phone call comes through. By having this do not disturb feature turned on, um, I'm also eliminating that particular noise. So perhaps you're in that scenario and you do need to block out certain external devices also from, from um, being triggered by a notification or incoming call. All right, now just maybe to pause there. Few people might be very hesitant um, to switch on that do not disturb function because what if somebody calls you in the middle of the night and it really is an emergency? Now, here's a quick little workaround. I'm going to flip over to my settings. If you open up your settings, um, you'll see the do not disturb menu item there. I'm going to go into that. And what you can actually do is if you scroll down a little bit, you can see there the phone option. Now, if you go into that, you've got the option to either select, you know, who's going to be, who, which calls are going to be coming in when the do not disturb is turned on, everyone, no one, or in my case, I like to just leave on those favorites. So if there is a particular family member that you're very worried about, maybe missing a call for in the middle of the night, just go ahead and turn that on. Now, if we go back to the Siri shortcut, you can now with confidence actually go ahead and then switch on that do not disturb function knowing that loved ones will still be able to reach you in the middle of the night. All right, so how do we actually do this? Let's go ahead and we're going to set this time do not disturb. All right, and we can just add that to our shortcut. And in this case, we obviously want to flip that switch, turn it on. What will happen at this point is that whenever this shortcut is run, you can see the sequence of events now. The brightness will be turned down, the volume will be turned down, and your do not disturb will be turned on as well. The last option there at the bottom of the list of the do not disturb tab, um, you can see that this particular one will then be turned on until such time that it is actually turned off. You also have the option if you do tap on that to maybe select different times, um, perhaps for an event that ends, when you leave, or even just when this particular shortcut is run, you can ask for the input. I'm going to leave mine on that until turned off position. Boom! And there you have it. So with just one simple Siri shortcut, you can now trigger all three of those actions in one go. Now, 
going back to the beginning, there's one last step that I'd like to add, but I'm going to save that for part two of this video, and that is setting up your alarm clock. It's where things get a little bit more advanced and maybe even a little bit more geeky. So we'll save that one for the next time. Uh, we're going to have a pause right here and quickly polish up this Siri shortcut just to finish things off. What you want to do is click on those two little dials at the top. You can go into that menu setting right there at the top. That will then allow you to change it. Now what I like to do is I sort of call this sleep mode. Oops, let's just erase all that sleep. This will be a Siri shortcut obviously that allows you to change it to um, sleep mode. Then we also have the option of maybe changing certain things. Let's make it purple and we give it a bit of a half moon color. You know, that kind of half moon little glyph there. That sort of signifies to me a sleep mode. And what you now also can do, and you should definitely do this, is to show this one in the widget. Now, what that means is if I go back, I am just going to go out here completely to my home page. If you now swipe over, you'll see this one show up in the widget. If I just say show more, right at the bottom, I have now created this sleep button. And what will happen is if I tap it right there, Obviously, those three actions that I've set up to dim my brightness, lower the volume, and put on Do Not Disturb will all three be triggered. Okay, and then back in the Siri app, one last thing that you can also do is to actually set a specific Siri command. Hence the name of the shortcut app in the first place, Siri Shortcuts. Because if you've been wondering where does Siri come into all of this, it's basically back into that menu you'll see the option to add to Siri. And that is where you can then add a specific phrase. You can record your own custom phrase that will allow you to trigger this specific shortcut. And there you have it, the full potential of the Siri shortcut of setting up an ultimate pre-bedtime routine. Dim your brightness, lower your volume, set on do not disturb, all in one quick, easy swipe to the left on your home screen and hit the button. All right, I hope you enjoyed that very basic first introduction to what Surrey Shortcuts can do for you in terms of setting up a healthy pre-bedtime routine. Well, to keep this post and video down to a more manageable size, I decided to split it out into two parts. This being part one, a little bit more easy steps We'll be sure to follow this up with part two, which is going to include setting your alarm clock as well, because you'll notice that that was the one step missing from my pre-bedtime routine. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, follow along on our blog. We'll be sure to have part two of this Siri Shortcuts Ultimate Pre-Bedtime Routine posted soon as well. Thank you for watching. See you next time.